80% of autistic girls get to the age of 18 without a diagnosis. Wow. Right from the beginning of studies on autism, people thought that it was a condition that affected men, and this goes back to Hans Asperger, who's sort of the father of autism. And so when they started to try and understand the condition, they looked for it in boys and men. Mm. And so then all of the data was in boys and men. What they overlooked was that actually autism looks completely different in the, in the brains of girls. So most of this story comes down to the idea that autistic people struggle with kind of social interactions. So for instance, there's this perception that autistic people you know, aren't really bothered by rejection. That's a good example. But when scientists did start to look at girls with autism, they did find that it looks very different. That actually autistic girls are over responsive in these areas that really care about social mm. interaction. And so why have girls not been showing these kind of social effects as much? Well, it looks like it's because they're much better at sort of masking it mm. and hiding it. And one thing that really struck me in the piece was that this has like a, a real impact on mental health. Absolutely. And so this this masking technique might seem like quite a good strategy. Yeah. And, you know, you think, oh, good, they're able to sort of analyse what they should be doing and, and apply in, it. Basically. But actually that just takes such a cognitive toll.